All right, let's get this party started. You're almost done, other than all cup tour and whatever courses you need to do in mirror mode. But for now, let's work it here. Hey guys, what's up? Hit Martha right here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart Double Dash. In the last episode, we conquered. Whoa! Quite literally conquered. Oh, winged shell! I have proof of this. Great way to start, winged shell, and it's not against me. That's a two for one. Don't think so. But anyway, in the last episode, we finished up Flower Cup 150cc with surprisingly very little difficulty. The only thing that got in the way was one winged shell, but it didn't affect my place. And a... Uh, Alright, who's camped? Who camped? Koopa's not in the top four. You both had red shells, didn't you? Well, cheapos. That's a giant banana, I'm pretty sure. It is. We also finished up... Uh, Ha! Serves you right. We also finished up 50cc spet, not special. Uh, star. Star cup, that's what it was. Ha! You missed. Oh no. Oh, that got a star. I was like, I'm gonna hit somebody with this, and nope, of course not. They had a star, so the wing and shell didn't hurt them. Gotcha. Ah, oh, they were too far behind. I didn't hit them. Ooh. Eh. Ha! Somebody hit it! I knew it! It's always fun to throw an item for it at the end on this stage to see if you can't get somebody to hit it. While my car gets pummeled in the cutscene like five different times. Twice from a fake item, once from a red shell, and just, jeez. Good thing it's not that way just when you're racing normally. Ugh. You never get first. Ow, Mario! I know that was you. That was red, not green, so it wasn't Luigi that time. Whoa! And that was obviously Bowser and Bowser Jr. Jerks. Ah! Cataquack. Why? I'm not hanging out back here with the sixth place losers. Oh, I should have run into them and stolen that, but oh well. Ha! <laughs> you guys are morons. Ow! And I say that, now they're the only ones that aren't small. Oh, snap. Easiest target to hit, I suppose. More Cataquack. Please don't hurt me, Mr. Cataquack. Man, everybody's getting nailed by these. They're being really violent today, apparently. Oh, hello, Mr. Bowser Shell. I'm just gonna go around you. Keep this in case a cataquack or a red shell comes by. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I will take it. Looks weird to see that Bowser shell, shell just sitting there. Good thing it wasn't in the middle of the course. That would have been, you know, you would have had to go off in the grass to avoid it. Which probably time-wise would be better to just go into the grass and go around it than, you know, just plow straight into it. All right, time for mass mayhem. Oh great, I don't have an item. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I'll just keep this here. They're in first, they're in first, go for them, not me. Whoa! Too late. Saw it, but couldn't do anything about it. Ah! Mass chaos! Throw all the green shells!
Ah! Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Retro's coming, bam. Hey, Karumba. Oh, I thought I dodged it. Oh, no, they're right there. They're right there. They're right there. I'm keeping these. That's why. Ooh, no, you are not going to use that chain shop against me. Ah! Oh, that was close. See what I mean about mass chaos? I knew that was coming. Oh, I apologize for screaming like a little girl, <laughs> but I knew that chain shop was coming any second. I was like, whatever you do, just don't get run over. If you don't get run over, you got this. If I'd gotten run over, I probably would have ended up with third or fourth. Oh, man. I like that stage, but sometimes on the last lap, it can make you really nervous. I didn't want you to target them. Wee! I hope that tornado got you. Oh, it didn't. It got third. Who's now? I don't know what place, but not in the top four. Ow! Ow! Why? Oh, did that get him? No, it didn't. I was to say if that that was one of heck of an amazing shot if it did. catch up to him. That was a terrible throw. <laughs> In fact, the thing that hit them wasn't even that. It was a fake item box. Go figure. The more you know. Oh, no. Kill the pokies! Okay, apparently the winged shell does not kill pokies. I know for a fact the bomb does, though, because I've done that several times with the bomb. Good to know. I knew I was going to run into that. Oh, thank you. Whoever did that was awesome. Yes, gotcha. This might actually be kind of a close race. Got a feeling about this one. As long as nothing stupid happens, we got this. It's actually an instance where the AI is not playing bad on this course. Normally they kind of do. Everybody's just trying to nail me with stuff right there. Pink egg, red shell. Do not approve of that, good sirs. That was a very short Grand Prix. That was only eight and a half minutes long. Wow. I think the first one that we did in 50 was like 11 and a half. Granted, it was a different cup, and Mushrooms, I believe, is the shortest one, but still. Man, that Baby Park one woke me up, that's for sure. Yeah, that was under seven minutes racing-wise, like, total time in the race thing. Luigi's Mansion for that one, which is 150 uh, Mushroom Cup. You get Luigi's Mansion, a new battle mode stage, or a new battle stage, I don't know what it said. Which basically means in, um, in versus, or in battle. Well, I can't show you right now, but it's another course with the other four that you already get. And there is a sixth one as well, which I'll be sure to go over later. But for now, we have more racing to do. Yeah, we get to play some more Wario Coliseum. I'm actually starting to like this track a lot more than I originally did at the start of this project. Like, I didn't hate it or anything, but I'm liking it a lot more. Like, if I could build my own cup with uh, four tracks and have one from each of the other cups, for Mushroom Cup, I'd probably have... Like, if I wanted it to be an actual challenge, I'd say have Baby Park be the Mushroom Cup one. For Flower, probably Waluigi Stadium. Whoa! For Star... 
for difficulty wise, probably not DK Mountain, but for favorite wise, it'd be DK Mountain. For difficulty wise, it'd probably be either Yoshi Circuit or uh, Sherbert Land. Please don't throw things at me, Yoshi. And then obviously for, you know, uh, special, I'd say. Eh, maybe not Rainbow Road, because for me it's easy and for the AI it's kind of difficult. I mean, it's hard to say, because, like, I like all the stages in the Special Cup except for Dino Dino Jungle. But Bowser Castle and Rainbow Road are two of my favorites, and they're also two of the hardest courses, but they're still two of my favorites. Like, honest honestly, if I had a choice in making my overall cup with my favorite ones would be DK Mountain, Rainbow Road, Bowser Castle, and... Eh, probably Waluigi Stadium. Or, yeah. Waluigi Stadium or Daisy Cruiser. One of those two. But, like, nothing from Mushroom Cup, really. Baby Park's kind of fun, but the rest of them are just eh. You just kind of play them. And I don't usually like playing Luigi Circuit or Peach Beach because everybody that I usually play against in real life... They always pick the e really easy tracks, like, you know, those courses. Dry Dry Desert's just kind of bleh. I never liked the desert-themed anything in any Mario game ever. Paper Mario, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, never liked the desert-themed. And it's probably because I live in the desert, but who knows. As for Mushroom Cup, we already know how I feel about Mario Circuit. Boring! And I'm gonna fall off. I'm an idiot. Good thing this is 50cc where no one can ever catch up to you. What the... I heard an egg. Where did it go? Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay, then. That was bizarre. The Mushroom City Mushroom Bridge. I obviously don't like those. What else is in Star Cup? Yoshi Circuit's kind of okay. It's okay. What else is in Star Cup that I'm forgetting? Oh, Sherbert Land, and that one's kind of eh. The Special Cup, honestly, is my favorite in this one. Sometimes it's not, but most of the time, whenever I'm playing through a Mario Kart game, usually Mushroom Cup is almost never my favorite. It's usually Flower or Star. I think this is the only instance where it's Special is my favorite. Usually I only like special for Rainbow Road. Because I remember Mario Kart Super Circuit, my favorite cup was... I think it was Flower. It sure as heck wasn't the Lightning Cup. That one had some really annoying courses in it. Like, Sky Garden was the only one I was good at. I was okay at the Cheap Cheap... Uh, whatever it was, Cheap Cheap Ridge or Cheap Cheap Beach. And Sunset Wild, oh my gosh, that was the hardest course in the game. Right there. Just having to avoid the shy guys and the tents and whatnot. That was such a pain. It was nothing compared to the rainbow. And the rainbow road there was actually kind of annoying. Because instead of having... It didn't have any walls. It had these little things where you would bounce. Your cart would bounce up and down. And it kind of helped and kind of hurt. But the best thing about it was you could... If you had a mushroom, you could skip like half the course by boosting at the right time on the right area. You could just like skip half the course. So a lot of times I just let myself fall behind and get a mushroom and then, you know, just boost back. That was always fun. If I could lap somebody on this course. Ow! Ow! Stop running into things. Things hurt me. I probably should have gone over this sooner, by the way, but uh, since Toad and Toad are now unlockable, Whenever you're racing, there'll uh, be a team. If they're, you know, if they're playing as a team, there'll be a team that's not um, selected. Which right now it looks like it is the off team is selected. So Wario and Koopa are there. Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Daisy, Yoshi, and Birdo. Looks like it's DK and Diddy Kong. Which I'm okay with this. I'm not a fan of DK and Diddy Kong. They always mess me up with those stupid giant bananas. Because if they take the lead, they get them quite a bit. So. Because it's a defense item, not an offense item. I did not mean to do that! Okay, that was close. can't believe I didn't hit that fake item.
take that dinosaur. Even though there was nothing there. I threw at the clouds. They were smiling really creepily at me. I don't think once I've actually got to show you guys that little shortcut over there, because not once I've been behind on this course. Oh well. Nah, I don't think I'm going to be able to lap them. Get pretty close, but not quite. Nope, didn't get it. Oh well. I cannot believe I didn't get hit either the banana or the geyser right there. Oh my gosh. I'm really asking to get hurt. Like, you know, getting hit by the geyser wouldn't make me come in last or anything like that because I was really far ahead, but still. I guess I can afford to play a little stupidly on the lower cups, and I know stupidly is not a word. Double items! Sweet. What the? Okay. Ah, uh, love racing on this course. It just feels right. Um, what was that noise? Actually, never mind. I don't want to know. But I hit Yoshi, so that's good. Every time I say I hate Yoshi, I always think of McGammer's playthrough of Smash Bros. 64 whenever he's doing the target test. Because there's like one jump, because Yoshi's got this really weird jump in Smash Bros. for anyone that doesn't know. His second jump, he does like the little flutter kick thing that, you know, he normally does. So he's kind of got a weird jump. It's a lot like Ness's or, you know, a player like that. And so you have to do a jump where you jump and then you let yourself fall a little ways and then jump again. Because if you just jump twice, you go up through a platform that you can't go back down. And he kept messing it up over and over, and he, you just hear him go, I hate your jump, Yoshi! I hate your jump! It was really funny. That was fun to watch in the Jigglypuff target test. That was hysterical. Because in the N64 one, the Jigglypuff target test had, like, a whole bunch of, uh... It had those bumpers, and they just... There's one part where they would float around in this giant square, and there was three targets you had to hit. And he kept... Basically, he got stuck in this instant loop, but he was just laughing so hard. He's like, you know what? Let's just retry this. Because he could not get out of it. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen on Smash Bros. 64. Or at least on a target test to Smash Bros. 64. I don't know, I've seen some pretty funny finishes to a Smash Bros. 64 match. Like the one by Azure Blade 49 where, uh... It was like a four-man brawl. There was not four stocks, but there were four players, and it was five stock, and it got down to... One stock and Kirby and Pikachu were the only two left, and Link had lost like a while back, and Samus lost a couple seconds ago. And they were on the middle of the stage, and Pikachu was just hitting with the standard A, and out of nowhere, this hammer just falls to the ground. Pikachu grabs it, and it just, you know, it starts going, and it kills him. You just hear this loud scream, followed by a whole bunch of laughing and cursing. It was really funny. Nothing is more satisfying than, you know, either killing someone with a hammer or uh, tricking someone with a hammer and causing them to fall off the stage so they can't recover. <laughs> Another reason why Martha's one of my favorites in Brawl. It's like, go ahead, let it, go ahead, pick up that hammer. We'll see what happens. Pick it up. Go ahead. Just, just pick it up. And then you just counter it the minute they come close to you. Ow. Believe it or not, I am actually kind of glad to be getting back to Brawl, though. It's funny, because, like, when I was recording Subspace, and it was mostly just when I was going through the Bomb Factory, because I'm not a fan of that course at all, or those stages at all. I should not have tried to power slide while doing that. That was a bad idea. But while I was doing it, I was like, man, I can't wait for this to be over. And I was really saying more, like, I can't wait for the Bomb Factory to be over. But now that I finished it, I was like, I really want to play some more of this. You know, play the events again. The events are not that hard, though. Like, in Melee, Event 51 was actually, you know, somewhat difficult, but in this game, event fi er, the final event's kind of just, eh. Like, I think it only took a couple tries for me to beat it on the highest difficulty. I mean, it really wasn't that bad. Because the giant Mario in the final event's kind of like uh, Giga Bowser. Like, he does a lot of damage, but 
you know, it's really easy to hit him, and he gets the same knockback and stun and all that of regular Mario, so... You know, you can just keep using... You can just use forward A over and over on him, and they can't do anything about it. They're kind of just stuck in a loop. Ah, I love this course so much. Oh man. I went the wrong way. That was the turn that I mentioned where, you know how I said Bowser, Bowser Jr. finished with like a 24 minute time on this once? That was actually the U-turn they got stuck on right there. That was really funny though. Mario, you're supposed to hit the boost, you dummy. That's how you go faster. Whatever. Bye, Mario. It's not Mario time. It's time for Mario to hit in the face. Yeah, I'm not going for that star. I probably could have gotten it. It actually wasn't that risky. Usually they're like right on the edge of the track. It's like, yeah, nah, I'm not going for that. Sorry. No, thank you. I'm just gonna chill over here. Eh. I have no idea where that landed. But oh well. Dude, that might have been it right there. Yeah, I'm just kind of throwing items off the stage now. Because really, they're just going to get in the way. It's so easy to beat the AI on this track, even on 150. They just play so badly on it. If you ever race a good driver on this, like, if, you know, if you race somebody really close to your skill level, this course can be a lot of fun. But whenever you're racing on, like, 50cc, or against somebody that's not used to playing, it's just, eh... Fake item. He got some pretty good hang time and then bounced off the side. I might be able to lap him on this. If I go fast enough here. I'm not going to make the joke I just thought about making. It wasn't funny. Man, those things bounce. Look at that. Did you see that just now? The doing. Okay, dude, you said that that was, that was their last lap. I don't know why you didn't see that coming. Okay, dude, stop singing along. No one wants to hear you do that. That's the best commentary you can come up with, is you, just you singing. What is this, Mario Party 2? That's like all I did during that project was just like hum along to the songs. I don't want that bomb. I don't want that either. You can keep it. Why does the stars always appear on the track after I pass that area? Like you can hear them going behind you. You're like, great, just missed the star. Oh well. Ow! See, look, it just happened again. Whatever. I feel kind of bad for Toadette. Toad and Toadette on this course, because their special is like mushrooms. Not the best course to get extra speed boosts, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. What a surprise, a perfect score. No, no, you're too kind. Thank you. Congratulations! 13 minutes, my gosh. 50cc is so slow! Ah! That ate up like... Because that was 13 minutes, this recording has been 25. So just racing alone, that was more than half of this recording. And all we get for it is the Bullet Blaster, which is Bowser Jr.'s car, I believe. Ay, Karumba. So with that... 
I believe other than all Cup Tour and uh, Mirror, we're done. Because we got golds in all these. Let's check 100 again. Well, actually, we checked 100 last video, so I know that's right. Let's check 150. Yes, 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 and yes. So, that just leaves all Cup Tour. So, what I'll probably do for those is probably do all three of them, because I know one of them unlocks Mirror Mode, and I'm going to guess it's the 150. I'm pretty sure it's 150. So, I'll do all those. That'll unlock um, Mirror Mode. I'll play two of those in one video of Mirror Mode, two of them in the next, and then I'll come to our Mirror Mode, and then we'll be done with that part, and then I'll probably show off some verses and battle and whatnot, so yeah. That is all for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.